Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to explain the differences between regular astigmatism and irregular astigmatism. Since recently we've had a couple of great questions from Claire Harrington. You can check out her blog and I'll put the link below. Uh, since she had collagen cross-linking for keratoconus and was wondering about how irregular astigmatism can affect people with keratoconus. So first, to remember regular astigmatism, if you remember back in a state of sight episode number seven, where I explained or excuse me, I explained regular astigmatism using this ball that I cut up from my Greyhound Carter, and that that's a difference in the curvature of the eye, where it's not completely round, it can be curved more in one direction than the other. Irregular astigmatism is similar in that the curvature is not very round on the surface of the eye, but instead of being nice and an even shape where it's mostly in one direction, it could come, say, in multiple directions, or it could be more steep towards the bottom as compared to the top, or in uh, lots of different configurations where basically it can be explained very easily how uneven it is. This can definitely happen in people that have keratoconus because as their cornea bulges more into a cone shape, very often that cone is not in the very center of the cornea. So if it's even just a little bit down towards the bottom, it can be more steep at the bottom and then a little bit less steep up towards the top part. We can notice this and measure it by corneal topography or other advanced scans of the front of the eye and get an idea to measure how much irregular astigmatism there is. Fortunately, this can also be corrected with a rigid contact lens, which would sit over the front part of the eye and then even out any of those irregular areas to give a nice smooth surface for light to pass into the eye and then balance out any problems with the vision that could be from the irregular astigmatism. Now also, when we are doing LASIK or measuring the wavefront of an eye, where we pass light in and out through the eye to measure all of the changes in the eye, we can pick up irregular astigmatism that's coming from inside the eye, either from cataract or changes in the lens inside the eye, or uneven parts on the back surface of the cornea. Because of this, with LASIK, we are able to correct the irregular astigmatism now with a custom LASIK treatment, although this irregular astigmatism is much less of a problem with the vision than nearsightedness, farsightedness, and regular astigmatism. So I know this can be a complicated topic sometimes. If you have any questions about this different type of astigmatism, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you. And we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.